Mercedes Schlapp is with us, White House Director of Strategic Communications. Okay, Mercedes, what news will the president make tonight? Share well, it with us, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, let the president uh, give his address tonight. Uh, you know, we know, Stuart, that he's going to be presenting the case to the American people as to why we need to secure the border, why there is a growing humanitarian and national security crisis, and that we can't continue to move forward with a status quo approach at the border. Well, he's going to need support um, from, from, the, from the Senate, from both sides of the aisle. He, he's going to need support. Will he make any concessions of any kind to win that support and appear reasonable? The president has already moved forward in a compromise. For example, uh, Nancy Pelosi kept talking about the concrete wall. And during the meeting, the president talked to Nancy and said, look, we'll design it together. We're looking more at steel barriers. We've been listening to our Border Patrol agents, and they believe that that's the most effective way to ensure that we're able to decrease illegal crossings from the border. And so, in essence, the president has been wanting to negotiate it. It's why he stayed over Christmas here and sent over a good faith offer to the Democrats. In fact, we sent over a budget request that included specific items that the Democrats requested, including humanitarian assistance at the border and as well as uh, counter narcotics technology. There, and the Democrats, Stuart, refuse to negotiate. They refuse to come to the table while the president is here ready to make a deal. So the, the, it's a political question, is it? Who wins? If the Democrats dig in their heels, absolutely refuse to negotiate, don't, won't do anything except say absolutely no wall, do they lose the political argument? Look, I, I think for the president, he's very passionate about this issue. He sees the suffering that's happening, not only to those vulnerable families who are take, taking this dangerous journey where you've seen children being smuggled, women being uh, basically human trafficked here in, in this, in, at the border. But at the same time, we're talking about safety for American communities, because what we've seen is a surge in gang activity, a surge of drugs coming through the border, and a, and a surge of crime. And so, in essence, the president's like, let's put the politics aside. Democrats, you have said that we need strong border security. So if you have said we need border, strong border security, let's come together and compromise and come up with a deal. Um, I want to change subject for a second because we're very much a financial program, as you know, Mercedes. And the yes. new budget, the new chair of the House Budget Committee, Democrat, he wants to raise the corporate tax rate up to 28% from 21% now. Um, now, that's a proposal. I'm sure you oppose it. But what chance do you think it's got of success? Should I go get Larry Kudlow right now? I can go get him. He's in his office. Sure. No, um, Please. <laughs> uh, look, uh, we have seen enormous success coming from the president's tax reform legislation that was passed over a year ago. We have seen the fact that these tax cuts are working. Just last week, we saw the jobs number report. It was significant, an increase of jobs of over 312,000. We're talking about wages increasing at 3.2 percent. So we know that by keeping our corporate rates lower, what's happening, Stuart? Corporations are investing in America. They're coming back. We're open for business. And going into that direction of not only increasing corporate rates, but also accepting the radical ideas of the far left, of, for example, increasing tax rates to 70 percent, Talk about what would cause a drag, a huge drag in the economy and the inability of America to stay in such a strong economic position that we're seeing right now. Don't worry, Mercedes, it won't get through the Senate. Mercedes Schlapp, everyone, right there at the White House. I'm sure you'll be there tonight as well. And thanks for joining us this morning, Mercedes. Appreciate it. Thank you.